Yes. Um, if I were on an interviewing panel and there were four candidates, one of whom I knew was a rampaging left winger, mm. I probably wouldn't vote for his appointment, no matter how able, because there simply wouldn't be any meeting of minds. Now, mm. I'm not saying that any officer working for me has yeah. to be a conservative. Yeah. No way. But there has to be uh, no moral objection mm. to working for me and mm. implementing conservative policies mm. as they are perceived. Right. Well, where I'm going with this is that even though I'm Tory and you're Labour, if you've written me a manifesto, I can say, right, now I think I know what you want. And you should do if it. If I'm going to try and pick up the emotional content... You shouldn't uh, be working uh, for me. Right. I mean... Uh, you should go and work for Camden. Right. So, but in a sense, I can't pick it up from something written. I do need to know you better to know what it is that you want to achieve and I've got to understand. Well, you have something written. You've got to talk to somebody. Yeah. You've got to have a drink with somebody. Mm. You've got to sit down and discuss mm. things with them. Mm. Um, you've got to know each other warts and alls because you've mm. got to know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Mm. If you're going to work well together and I think that I have always worked reasonably well with most of my senior officers. Some of my colleagues work totally differently. They whiz into the office, issue instructions and rush out. Mm. Um, it, it's a different style, it's personality, it's approach. If we talked about uh, an officer who is responsive in the way that you would want them to be, can you give me a description of them, what the sort of things that you like to see in an officer of that kind? Yes, I like to see an officer who has a pride in his job and a loyalty to his authority, and by that, the council, mm. and who will not only do to the letter, what I would, but will actually perhaps come up with his own bright ideas on how to improve a service or how to do this or how mm. to do that. And there's nothing more exciting than that when you're working as a team. Mm. Yes, Chairman, that's a super idea, but have you thought if we did it this way, then we could mm. do that, then we could get to that, and that's mm. terrific. Officers who sit there and say, yes, Chairman, no, Chairman, and do exactly what they should, and perhaps not frightfully well, mm. I find very difficult to work with. Mm. So one needs enthusiasm. Mm. Um, one needs the ability to, to, to talk, one needs the ability to argue back, one needs the ability in an officer to be able to go and get his own junior staff to work because I can go in and help lift morale. What I do at the top mm -hmm. is going to affect the morale on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. So obviously I've got to help there. But that's his job. Um, he's got to be able to think on his feet at committee. More than anything else, he's got to be able to not put his feet in it in public. Mm. There is nothing more infuriating than when you've been rehearsing, you've practiced, you're right there, you know the answers, and an officer will put his foot straight in it in committee. Gift to the opposition, gift to the press. Mm. That can drives you me round the bend. Can you give a particular example of that sort of thing, without naming names? Uh, yeah, yes, I can think of one or two. Of, um, one particular occasion when a department of the council was having a reorganisation itself. It wasn't the housing department, but it provided services to the housing department. And their budget, this particular department's budget, had gone up and up and up, year after year after year, but they were growing like Topsy. They weren't providing the service. And we were sitting them down and saying, right, now, what do you need mm -hmm. to do the job? Can you do it better? Should it be restructured? What do you think? We were trying to make them think managerly. And it came to the budget committee and he said, oh, I can't conceivably do what it says here without twice as many staff having that afternoon told me that he could. Mm. Now that is irritating beyond all measure. Do you know where the roots of that mistake came from? I mean, how... how I think how he just didn't... I think perhaps he might have misheard an opposition question, mm. but he should be on the ball to opposition I mean, questions. was he aware, having said it, that he'd put his foot He in? was afterwards. Oh, after you'd had a word <laughs> with him. Yes, I mean, one of the things that we've been discussing um, on a number of occasions is, in a sense... You see, the, the service officers, the, mm. the departments that service a main service department, that don't have an absolute link with the public, or mm. too often with politicians, are less inclined to be politically aware. And I don't mean politically sensitive, politically aware as a conservative, mm. but to know the role of the opposition is to trap. Mm the other side, yeah. and to a certain extent officers. I've mm. done it when I've been in opposition. Mm. It's great fun. It's a game. Yeah. Um, it can be quite serious. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I once something has been agreed and is policy, as long as it's not illegal, immoral or fattening, mm. um, officers, frankly, have got to be all on the ball. Mm. 